we have standing bicep curls. Standing bicep curls. Okay, so choose a weight that's appropriate for you. Um, a standing bicep curl. So this is how you do it. From here, a supinated grip. Up. Down. Sideways. Up. And down. Okay. So this, the key of this movement, first thing, a really big mistake that people, a lot of people make is that people rock when they do it. So you're not using your biceps. You want to isolate your biceps. Choose a lighter weight, it's okay. Like this movement, people always tend to do really heavy weight, but they don't do the movement correctly. They rock a lot. So this is a no. We don't want this to happen, okay? We don't want to see this. First of all, you're putting a lot of stress on your back and you're just not working your biceps, all right? So keep your elbows tight to your body, straight arms, and you're just gonna hinge at the elbow. Up and down at the elbow. The movement starts from the elbow. Just like that. So imagine that there is like a pole going through your elbow, through your body, and the pole is not gonna come up here or go back here. It's always gonna be aligned with your body. have it break 90 degrees all the way up around one fist away from your chest and down and that is the standing bicep curl then we have the cable tricep extension cable tricep extension so we don't have cables here again um, but we are going to use a substitute with the resistance band okay so in a gym, you're gonna, you have ropes and you have like a flat bar, but today we're gonna to use a rope and imagine this is a cable. So you're gonna stand up, set the cable as high as possible. So the rope should be a bit, so the rope should be around eye level to you, okay? So what you're gonna do is stand up straight. Again, elbows tight to your body. And you're gonna pull down, straighten your arms. Pull down, pull down. Go from the front view, you want your el you want your hands to actually open, open up, open, open, open like this. Open up the ropes, come back, open, come back, open. You don't want your body to rock. You don't want to overcompensate again by pushing down like this, because that's you're not working your triceps. Again, you imagine there's a pull going through your elbows, your body, and you're straightening your arms and contract, really contracting the body, tricep part. Standing here, open. Push down, open. 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 Just like that. That's the cable, like my tricep extension. And we have the seated alternating bicep curl. Seated alternating bicep curl. Okay, so for the seated alternating bicep curl, uh, usually uh, we sit down. The reason why we sit down is because you don't want to rock. When you stand up, there's so much room for you to actually just use your back, use everything, just rock and just kill the weight. But we don't want that to happen. So for this movement, we're gonna be seated, nice and controlled, okay? Alternating, and especially uh, when we alternate, when we, when we do one like unilateral exercises, when we do one side, traditionally we are stronger when we do one side uh, instead of doing both at the same time. So for this one, we can actually try to choose a slightly heavier weight compared to the first movement, but always remember that we're seated. Uh, we can't rock, but though I already said we can't rock, some people, you know, some of you guys might do, uh, you want to eliminate that. So just, just remember, just remember, all right? So this is a movement, okay? Alternating, so I do one, 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 okay? So you can see that I'm sitting here, and there's a 90 degrees angle here, and a 90 degrees angle here, okay? So that's how you're meant to sit properly. Right? You don't want your back to be like this or overextended. 90 degrees here and here, okay? And your arms are gonna be straight by your side, tight to your body, up and down, okay? No rocking motion, you're not gonna shift left and right. Everything is gonna be focused as one. Only thing moving should be your elbow, your bicep. Bring your hand up and change, up, change, up. Okay. Again, pull is going through 
your elbow, your body to the other elbow, everything is going to be aligned. That is the seated alternating flat. And then we have the full range tricep dips. Full range tricep dips. Okay, so if you have a, a dip bar at your gym, this, this is what it will look like. This is what it might look like. Okay, so full range tricep dip. From here, full range means that you have straight arms all the way down, up, down, up, down, up, up. That's a full range. So when you go down, you're gonna hit 90 degrees and a bit more and come up. Depending on your flexibility, see how far you can get down and come up, okay? Your back, your legs are gonna be behind you, okay? Just like this, your back is not gonna be curved. I think if it's curved, you're not gonna be able to perform the movement anyways. Uh, that is the full range tricep extension, uh, yeah. uh, the tricep dip. However, if it's too hard for you, you can actually put your feet on the ground. So you have your forefoot touching the ground, and when you go down, you can use your legs to help you up as well. Okay. If, if, uh, if one that's too hard for you, you can have it. You can have your foot on the ground to assist your movement. So it makes it a bit easier. All right? That is the tricep dip, full range. All the way down, all the way down. And we have the incline bench uh, preacher curl. Incline bench preacher curl. Okay. So this movement works your biceps. Okay. So incline bench, again, I'm going to set the bench at an angle. Okay, suitable for me. And then this is a preacher curl. Okay. I'm going to put on to the bench. And then the curl. Now the weight. Okay. This is a hanging preacher curl. Okay. Uh, this is what you guys are going to do. You guys have your arms like extended fully, straight arms. Just have them dangle off. And you just get to bring the dumbbell up. For this movement, you can have a contraction at the top, hold it for two seconds and make it even better. And choose a lighter weight, this is fine. Because if it's too heavy, it's really hard to have a full range. If it's too heavy, a lot of people just stop here and that's no good because you're not contracting the whole bicep. Have it fully extended. Bring it all the way up, down, up, down, up, down, just like that. And your chest flat on the bench. Okay, uh, I don't think anyone's able to arch their back on this because you're flat here. And your neck, again, neutral with your spine. Okay, all the way down. Don't look down like this. And don't over flex it like this because it'll hurt your neck. Okay, right? everything is neutral and full range of motion, straight arms to all the way up. Okay, that is the hanging creature curl in front bench. Then we have the standing dumbbell tricep extension. Standing dumbbell tricep extension. Okay, so this movement works the outside, the lateral head of your tricep. Okay, so you use one dumbbell, one dumbbell. You, this is how you rack it up. You put it on your knee, opposite knee, opposite shoulder. Okay, cup it like this. Bring it up, both hands, safety first. Rest it on your shoulder. Then you cup it like this, like a flower. Bring it behind your head. All right, keep your elbows relatively tight to your head and you want to push up straight down. Feel that stretch, straight, full range of motion, down. Up all the way and down all the way, okay? You don't want to stop here. This is on full range. You always want to go all the way down and all the way up, okay? Your back is flat again, no arch. And when you're done, rest it back on your shoulder. Lightly go back on your knee and ground it, okay? So this movement, you don't want your elbows to flare out too much when you do it, but depending on your flexibility, try to just keep it as tight as possible. Some people can actually have their arms even touching their ears. I can't do that because I'm not that flexible, but I, have it, I try to keep it relatively close so I work my tricep more than anything else, okay? That is the standing tricep extension. And then we have the method 21s. Method 21. So for this movement, you can use a barbell or dumbbells as well. For this one, I'm gonna use an easy bar, okay? Just to make it easier, okay? So method 21, 
there's 21 reps in this. So you break it down, three reps, no, three sets of seven, but it's all together, okay? So this is what you do. You have your arms from a straight position, you go 90 degrees, halfway. So this is not a full rep. You go halfway seven times, okay? Seven times halfway, and then you stop after seven, you do this seven times on the upper half. Halfway again, seven times. Okay, half, 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 seven. And then the last seven, you go full range. All the way down, all the way up, seven. Okay, of a total of 21, okay? Three, no, uh, yeah. Seven from the lower part, seven up part, and seven full range. And that is the method 21. Again, very similar to the first, all of the bicep movements. Your arm, should, you shouldn't be rocking, your arm should be pinned night really, really nice and tight to your body and you just rep it out seven 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 total of 21 and that is method 21 bicep